This guy was filming in a town hall and got into so much trouble with a sheriff deputy. Well, let's take a look at today's video as we got a lineup of crazy audit moments, best police encounters, and also some freakouts. Today we're going to be starting with a clip from Surreal Cam. I'll leave a link down below to his channel in my description. Please go and subscribe to his channel if you aren't already. Hey guys, welcome to Audit Rewind. If you're new to my channel, please also subscribe to my channel as I'm going back to daily videos trying to react to the craziest videos on the internet from auditors who are exercising their rights. So I said it earlier, this is a town hall I believe and uh, the auditor is just exercising his first amendment constitutional rights in the publicly accessible areas and this sheriff deputy gets very very awkward about it so let's see what happens next city huh yeah i can go in there. don't don't touch me though man relax i can't go in there i've been in there before yeah this is city manager's office that's not city manager's office what is it well that i'm sorry commissioner i've been in here step in there why can't i come in it's not open door ask that girl in there i've been in i've been in here before no ask what's your name my name is Joey. She, okay. She's seen me here before. I'm right here, man. Dude, don't act this way. What's your name and badge number, man? Come on. Stacy. Oh, oh. It's close. Sure. Yeah, I just want her to come in. That's it. Say hi to her. She's seen she's me here before. And, and she's not here. She was just here. I'm, I'm, I have a right to come in here. I have a right to. I wasn't trying to go in, in there. I was just going to come in here and say hi to her. I've been in here before. What's your name and badge number, man? My name's pretty Tyler. What's your badge number? Badge number All right, cool. And you shouldn't be touching people either. You touched me, bro. You can't be doing that. Unless you have authority over me, man. Come on. I just come, say hi, take video, and I was gone. There she is. She's right behind you. Okay. She's right behind you. Can you come out? Yeah, I'll come out in a second. Oh. Y'all come out in a second. Out She's right behind you. Okay, that's what I'll come out in a second. Hold on. Is she out there? She's out there. Let me speak to her real quick. Let me speak to her real quick. There she is. Okay. He's uh, not letting me come in and say hi to you. No, I'm not letting me talk to the South Commissioner. That's why I didn't know if he was busy. Yeah. Yeah, I just came to say hi. See how you're doing? Good. Yeah, that's it. It's that simple, man. I, this, no, that's a public saw, area, man. I saw the commission. Okay. So why? <laughs> the officer looked so stupid when the lady turned up because it turns out that this auditor is known amongst his community. Some people don't like him because he's triggering, but the majority, 99% of people, actually get on with him really well because they understand what he's doing is actually allowed. While it might come across as annoying to this officer, it is of course his First Amendment constitutional right to just film in places where he is allowed to walk and also it's good to do this in your local town halls and city halls for accountability reasons and transparency. I think that the auditor is doing a great job and the officer here, the sheriff deputy, is about to be owned and also he is a bit humiliated based off of the lady's reaction because she doesn't seem to have an issue with Surreal Cam doing any of the recording. Let's see what happens in part two. That's a public saw, area, man. Okay, so why'd you stop me? You're like you guys are hiding something in there. That's what it looks you're like. It looks suspicious. You the I'm way saying, you acted. Okay, you're fine. It looked like it likes. But the commissioner was in there talking to her, having a meeting. Okay. And I but the door, the door, the door was open, though, man. Okay. That's why. I interrupt the commission. That's what come on, man. There's no. There wasn't no need for that at all. I have a right to come in there. Now, if they want to lock the door and not let the public in, they gotta lock it like she just did. Okay. That's how it works, I bro. Understand that. But there was a commissioner there. It's my job to protect the commissioner. I don't protect know him from what? From me? I don't know you. It doesn't matter, man. I have a camera. I'm the people. Okay, I you know. know you. Do I look? Do I look like I'm gonna harm somebody? Uh, there's, there's no such look. There was no need for that, dude. There was no. I have my a right to come in there. That's fine. You have a right to come in there, but I have okay, to then. protect the commissioner. Okay then. That's fine, but not to the extent that you touched me. I touched you. I didn't throw you. Yeah, it doesn't matter. You still put your hands on me. What happens if I do that to you? What would happen if I was to put my hands on you? Just answer me that. That's my job. Okay, the, I know, okay, your job is to protect and serve. Exactly. I understand that. Come on, but that was no need for you to put your hands on me without having any authority over me. You don't have authority to protect the commissioner. You, you don't have no authority over me. To protect the commissioner? Yeah, I'm talking about me. You don't have no authority over me unless I commit a crime. I know, but I was protecting the commissioner. Protecting him from what? From me walking know. in there? 
like, but the way you did it was very like suspicious, man. Like you guys, no, like you were, because no, no, you can't come in there. Bah, 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 bah. Like you were, like, like you're hiding something in there. Like something's going on illegal in there. Like something illegal is going on in there. You ain't gotta, put, you ain't gotta act like that, bro. Because if I was to touch you, what would happen to me? You'll throw me in the dungeon with some torture cuffs. I didn't act like anything. Come on, that's that was uncalled for, man. Don't be treating the public like that. You know I come in here with. With no ill will intent. You, 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 but you know I'm a, you know what I do for a living, man. You don't. I don't know you. I don't. I honestly do not know you. Who are you? Okay, well now you know me. Who are you? I'm the people. Who are you? I'm the people. What's your name? I don't got to tell you that right now. Okay, then. then I don't know you. That's you know you, that I, was uncalled for. The sheriff is trying to defend his actions by saying that what he did was justifiable because he didn't know who this guy was with the camera and he thought that they could be uh, that he could be a potential threat to the people inside of the room. Of course that's utter nonsense and the sheriff didn't seem to have reasonable articulable sus suspicion to suggest that. Why? Well, I guess it's because the guy's filming, he's not showing any signs of violence or aggression, he's not going to do anything wrong. I mean, you could try and say, well, we can't predict the future. Sure, but the officers are trained in some level of threat management. They're also trained to how to, you know, judge people and read body language. And it seems like uh, that they don't actually pay attention to these classes in police academy because half of the other officers also have no idea what the hell they're doing. So right now, I love the way this order had dealt with the officer. He put him in his place and he looked a bit silly towards the end of it all. What's your opinion and what do you think of this? This guy doesn't like to be filmed by auditors, even though it would seem that he is in public. Today, we're going to be taking a look at our second clip here by MAA Audits. I'm going to react to what happens and I'll leave a link down below to this guy's channel so you guys can all go and subscribe and show him some support. I believe they are in a post office parking lot just on the walkway that leads up to it. So this man in the, I think, is that a leather jacket? I, I don't think so, but this guy uh, stood just in front of the truck is in fact uh, really triggered that they are filming. He seems to give off the vibes that he thinks it's illegal filming in this area or filming in public so i was interested to see what he says to them and i'm not too sure if he calls the police or if the police actually turn up in this video but he does not like the fact that they are filming and he makes that pretty clear in the video so i wanted to go over this video and give my overall opinions and my reaction so let's get started So what does the pictures matter? I'm taking a video of you and I'm going to dump it all over the internet for, for hundreds what? of thousands of for people what? to see. For what? For, for, so people know what, what a jerk looks like when they see you. Why? Well, you better turn the goddamn thing around at yourself, sir. Wow. <laughs> you came up to me. No, no, you was right out here taking my picture. Yeah, but you came right. up to me. No, you minded you came my up business to my, instead of you. Came up to I me. didn't come up to you. You, you came, came up, up to me. You came up to me. And you said, and I said, I can't hear you. I'll walk closer so I won't be rude so I can hear what you had to say. I thought you were saying hello or telling me your name and said. I'm being harassed by you people. <laughs> then, then you should leave. Yeah. How so? You're right there taking pictures of me. Oh, that's no. that's a rat. That's how yeah. is that? Are you gonna file You'll, a complaint against the post office here too? This ain't the post office. Oh, that's they the got post cameras office. up. Hey, at, at least at least you can read. That's good. Are they harassing you? you? They got right. cameras. No, they aren't harassing me. Oh, just our camera. I, yeah, just your oh. camera. Oh. You ain't got no business over here on this property. Yeah, I do. Oh, we just we property? just bought a stamp. This is this is uh, town office property. Public property. Public. Right. State right. property, which is public. Public. Can you say it with me now? Public property. 
What difference does it make? Say it, say it, it, is, it. it is property, uh, private property. It's not no, private. No, no. It's public. public. If it was private property, you'd be trespassing right now. You are. You, no, this ain't people. someone's house. It can't be private you property. You people are. What, is, what planet do you come from? Are you here just well, scoping sure out is, Earth to see I if it's sure worth the thing? It comes to the planet you people are from. We'll play Obviously, I don't know, I don't know either we, one of you or kind of, me. Oh, sorry. You you get to be the arbiter of where and who I can and can't film. That's not going to work out well for you. Before How's people, it working out so far? Before people can take pictures of anybody, they've got to have the permission. Said who? So when when was Said that? Who? When was that at? Was it, is that a law? You people are numb. You people. <laughs> you people, you people are numb. What me. what kind? Of, who's you people? You want me to cry? <laughs> Have you been in that office yet? Have you been in? Have you been in yeah, here? Yeah. I'm going in. I'm there. going in now. You are. You are. Come on. Yeah. Come on. All right. Yeah. Let's go. It really, really is funny when people have no idea about the rights of others in public. I guess they think that if you do something annoying, it automatically makes you a criminal, or you know what you're doing illegal, because. This guy just doesn't seem to understand the constitution, specifically the first amendment in this case. He may know about other clauses, but uh, I can't comment on that because I don't know. But once he realized that these guys know what they're doing and they were willing to argue their rights, he just gave up after like a couple minutes of this clip and decided to just walk in and yeah, just basically leave them alone. He mentioned a couple of things, first one being about asking permission. Of course, asking permission would be kind and courteous. However, if you were to ask everybody's permission when you film in public, it would be impossible. What about the person who drives by in their car? What about the runner that runs by on the sidewalk on the other side? What about someone who is just standing there on the phone? Do you have to go up to every single person within the plain view of your camera lens and ask them for permission? It just doesn't work. If you had to do that, it would be a pointless because you wouldn't be able to make a video. You'd be too busy asking everyone who enters a frame if you have their permission to film them. Obviously, you don't need permission if you're in a public place because you have a First Amendment right. And I don't think this guy quite gets what they're trying to say. He probably just thinks they're there to annoy people. Or maybe he thinks they're like some type of prank channel or something. <laughs> I don't know. News Now Omaha was doing a audit outside of a police department. He was surrounded by officers because they deemed him to be a threat. Even though he seemed to just be holding his camera. I'm not 100% sure if he is armed or, you know, open uh, sea eating. I don't even want to say it because it triggers some algorithm. But basically, he is just doing what he's allowed to do. And the officers get very, very worried. Very defensive. They seem to kind of circle him and try and ask him questions to figure out what he's doing. So I reacted to News Now Omaha quite a few times. He's up there in my top 10 favorite channels. I'm going to leave a uh, link down below in my description so you can get straight through to his channel. That's something you can do and subscribe to him. I highly recommend. I'm going to give my opinions. Hopefully the officers here honor their oaths and don't try and arrest him for not giving ID when they don't have any RAS. So let's get started with the video and see what actually happens. Fingers crossed. I'm not going away. Go back inside. I can't. And you're more than welcome to film our police department. That's what I'm doing. Now go back inside. I just don't want you to reach too much in your pocket. All right, don't do that. Sometimes you got to reach. Now go back inside, man. Mind your business. I told you to get out of my face. I didn't come out here. I didn't talk to you. I said, I didn't ask you to come out here. Again, not to touch that in your pocket. Alright, if you do it again, I'm gonna put you in custody. For what crime? For what crime? And I wanna stay safe. For what crime? You just said I wasn't detained, so what's going on? Don't reach for that again, okay? Alright. Don't touch me. I'm not gonna. Okay? Here's what I want you to do. I'm gonna be cool if you're cool. Make sure my body comes off. Cool, and I want you to be cool as well. 
thing that you're looking for. You get a permit for it. See, I don't like this. Well, I don't, I don't like this either. But then go inside, bro. I'm not doing nothing. You see me filming, so go inside. What's your name and badge number, dude? What's that? What's your name and badge number? My name and badge number. Yeah. Sergeant Parsons, Franklin Police, Franklin 220. What about you? Officer Merritt, Franklin Police Department, badge 267. Is there something we can help you with? Not doing anything. Go inside. Okay, and I want to make sure you're safe too. I don't like you walking up on me, man. Is there something we can do? Please keep your hands out of your pockets. Scratching my side, not in my pocket. You see my hands right here? It's right on the side. Huh? That's a, that's a pocket, but it ain't in there. My, my side itches, huh? That's fair. Is there something for you, man? Oh, yes, actually go inside. That's what you can do for me. Mm-hmm. I have watched a lot of these videos before when people do the police precinct and police department audits for some weird reason they always end the same way and it's where the officers try and escalate because the auditor has their hands in their pockets. I know that's usually one like go to thing they have for gaining authority in a situation is they try and say that because the person's got their hands in their pockets. They could be, uh, I don't know, handling a weapon, an obscured weapon in the pocket. So they use this as a way to like raise their voice, get close, grab them even, or arrest them, throw them in cuffs. And this is like a huge power grab technique that sometimes works. If you're an auditor and you're in this situation, in my opinion, I think it's probably best to take your hand out very slowly because they will just, some of them will just use that as an excuse to literally grab you if you keep the hand in the pocket. Granted, you are well within your rights to keep your hands in your pockets if there's no weapon inside and you don't intend to break the law or commit a crime, but it really is the officer and their judgment to make the call whether they want to really grab you and detain you and search you, or whether they believe that you haven't got a weapon. Obviously, we know full well Newsnet Omaha hasn't got a weapon and he's not going to hurt the police, so um, you know that's important to note because... <laughs> They don't know who they're dealing with and they probably think this guy's just annoying so they're trying to power flex on him. I want to know what's going on here. I want to make sure that you're not trying to incite us for some kind of action. Dude, go inside, bro. I done told you to leave me alone. I'm not going to leave you alone. They, right say, say, they don't, don't call it inciting or harassment because you're, you're bothering me right now. No, no, I don't want you to. We have the right to be out here. Yeah, you're right, you're right. Then don't, don't call it harassment, bro, because I'm not bothering you. Alright, just... I've told you that you're more than welcome to be here, you're more than welcome to keep walking, I've told you that... So you said I'm not detained? What's that? You said I wasn't detained, right? That's correct. Alright, cool, man. Not, but I did give you a warning that if you touch what's in your pocket again, you will be detained. For what crime? Officer safety. That's not a crime. Go inside, man. There has to be a crime. There has to be a crime. There has to be a crime. Well, the resolution is go inside. That's the resolution. Well, I'm not going to go inside. Okay, because we're already down by this road right now. That we're in. Mm -hmm. okay. You have... I know, I know that you want to film us because you want to incite some kind of reaction. I'm not inciting anything. You guys came to me. You have gotten some kind of reaction out of us. Because the way you're acting, the way that we're trained, Go inside, man. I done told you to go inside. Are you going to be out here all day? Hmm? Like, what are you doing? None of your business, bro. Go inside. I'm not detained, so go inside. Not detained. Yeah, if you touch me, bro. I'm, I'm not going to let you. I'm not going to handcuff you, dude. You're not going to touch me. It's going to be. It's, it's gonna be it's gonna be it's gonna be hard to do. I'm telling you that right now. Don't touch me, bro. Here's what I want. Mm -hmm. okay. Here's what I'm asking. Mm -hmm. Is that a lawful order? No. Then go inside. It's not a lawful order, bro. I can touch whatever I want. I'm not doing nothing to you. I told you already. Go inside, go do your paperwork. 
I'm not bothering anybody. He came to me. I never came to any of you guys. You guys walked up to me. The reason why I came to you is because you were six inches from our building with your camera. And who funds the city? Who funds this? Tax taxpayer, who funds this? The city. The okay. City owns the building. Okay, who who funds the city? I do. Any citizen who pays all right, taxes then. that lives here in the we, city. They, of all right then. So taxpayers. Yes, I would do. Alright. So I'll go back inside, mind your business, and that's it. I don't like them walking up. Move. What's up? Move out the way, man. You walked away? I'm walking away. Yeah, you're good. You can walk away. I'm walking away. They're worried about what's in my pocket. They're, I don't know what they wondering about, bro. There's nothing. Just engage. Disengage. That's a good idea. Yeah. Officer Parsley's got a great idea. Disengage. Sergeant. Do you guys have an issue with the way that I have an issue with that. I've made that clear. You guys can come and talk to the chief. We'll get the chief. Okay. Who will? We're going to disengage because I think that's, that's the best That's a action. brilliant idea. That's the smartest thing you've done today. I apologize for the quality not being 100% however you could still pretty much make out everything and hear things although it was pretty windy at times. The officers in this video seem to get annoyed with News Now Omaha, they're also angry that he is not complying with simple tasks like take your hands out your pocket or identify yourself or give reasons for filming. I can understand that they may think that their police department is super sensitive but they also have to remember that people are going to take photos of police departments, people are going to take videos, and they have that constitutional right, the freedom of press to do so. So the police need to be careful where they overstep the mark, or you know, they just, they, I think that they just escalate situations because they feel like they have some immunity, you know, whether they make a wrong decision, a wrongful arrest, they don't really care because it's like, oh, I'll just get let off. So it is kind of disappointing when you see officers seriously escalating and power flexing outside of their police departments. It's like it's their house and they get really triggered when someone films it or comes near it. <laughs> I don't know why, uh, it's always pretty entertaining. Go subscribe to NewsNet Omaha, link to his channel in my description. Thank you for watching today's video. If you're new to my channel, please also subscribe and leave a like on today's video to show your support for the channel. I am Audit Rewind and I will be back to posting every single evening so make sure you tune in and I hope you're all doing well.